What do you mean by an RC differentiator circuit? Well, my name is Rishi Revju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make it journey easy for you. So, let us ask yourself that obvious question. What do you actually mean by an RC differentiator circuit? Well, let's run out. So, this is basically an electronic circuit that can differentiate a particular voltage. That is, it is essentially a particular circuit in which whatever voltage that we give, be it VIA, then the output that we obtain is always equal to a particular constant into the differentiation of this particular input voltage. Such kind of a circuit is simply what you refer to as a differentiator circuit. So here, we are going to construct a differentiator circuit using RC components, that is using a resistor and using a capacitor. So how do we do this? So for this, first we would take a particular capacitor like this. We would take a particular capacitor and over here, we would now connect a resistor like this. So here we have a capacitor as well as a resistor. And here we give an input voltage, say VI. So now here if we give an input voltage VI, then we should obtain an output voltage V0 across this particular resistor. So let this be R and let this be C. So now here, let us assume that a particular current I is passing through this particular resistor R. So here, a particular current I is passing through this particular resistor R. And now let us assume that there is a voltage drop of Vc across this particular capacitance C. So here, we can say that this particular circuit is a differentiator circuit if this particular output voltage V0 is equal to a particular constant into the differentiation of this particular input voltage VI, that is dVI by dt. So now, let us prove that this particular output voltage is equal to some kind of constant into the differentiation of this particular input voltage. So here, the basic thing is that the input that we give here is VI. So here, we give an input voltage V VI and this input voltage VI is equal to the sum of all the voltage drops that are present here. So here the input voltage VI is equal to this particular voltage drop across this particular capacitance VC plus the voltage drop across this resistor which is V0. So this is a fundamental equation. Let us take this as equation number so now, next, going back to the fundamental laws, let's consider Ohm's law. So, with the help of Ohm's law, across this particular resistor, we know that the voltage V0 is equal to the product of the current and the value of the resistance. So here, V0 is equal to I into R over here. But, 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 we know that the current I is equal to the rate of change of charge, that is the rate at which a particular charge flows. Therefore, I is equal to dQ by dt. So now, substituting the value of this over here, we get the value of V0 as V0 is equal to dQ by dt times R. So therefore, this particular equation becomes V0 by R is equal to dQ by dt. Let us take this as equation B. And now, across this particular capacitance C, we know that according to the capacitance law, Q, the amount of charge that is accumulated at this particular capacitor, is equal to C times the voltage drop across this particular capacitor Vc. So on rearranging this, we would get Vc is equal to Q by C. Let us take this as equation C. So now substituting B and C inside equation A, we would get Vi is equal to Vc is nothing but Q by C. So therefore Q by C plus here we have V0. V0 is nothing but 
dq by dt into r. So now, now we are making a small assumption. We are making an assumption that the value of the resistor r and the capacitor c are considerably very small. So if the value of the resistor and the capacitor are considerably very small, then here in this particular equation, the first term that is q by c would be very much greater than the second term that is r times dq by dt. If that is the case, then we can simply write vi is equal to q by c. So if vi is approximately equal to q by c, then this implies that q is equal to c times vi. That is, we are just taking cross multiplying c with vi over here. Now, on differentiating this particular equation, we have to now differentiate this particular equation. Let us take this as d. So now, on differentiating d, we get dq by dt is equal to c into dvi by dt. But, 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 but from equation b, we know that this particular term dq by dt is nothing but v0 by r. So therefore, we know that this equation thus becomes v0 by r is equal to c into dvi by dt. So therefore, taking the value of r over here, we get v0 is equal to rc into dvi by dt. So therefore, here V0 is equal to Rc, that is the value of resistor, which is a constant, and the value of the capacitor, which is a constant. So therefore, V0 is equal to a constant into the derivative of the input voltage Vi. So here, the output voltage is equal to a constant into the derivative of the input voltage. And thus, we could say that this particular circuit is an RC differentiator circuit. As simple as that, guys. This thus is simply what you refer to as an RC differentiator circuit. As simple as that, guys. There's nothing more to it. So, I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as an RC differentiator circuit. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So, stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.